Hello, tubers. Uh, this is uh, just a real brief update. I have this has been a lot uh, slower go than I thought it was going to be. Uh, naturally, that's just kind of how it works with me. I just want to get everything done yesterday, but uh, greenhouse construction is a little more complicated than maybe it looks. So next time you see somebody putting up a greenhouse, um, I'm doing a video on it, uh, helping you guys along, be sure and thank them uh, for everything they do because it is really hard. If they've helped you out, uh, like uh, Bobby and uh, Brock and those guys, you know, they're so willing to uh, give you some advice and help you along and just, uh, just be sure and thank them. MHP Gardener, if you don't know him by Bobby. Um, he's helped me a lot with this. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a brief, quick update of where we are. Uh, I started to stretch the plastic on onto the uh, uh, the structure, but it is way too windy. Um, I don't know if you can see those trees moving out up there or not, but uh, it's been gusty. Uh, <laughs> it lifted Daniel off the ground and uh, it just about did uh, the same to me as we were trying to pull it up over the top. But I'm still working on the end walls anyway. Um, so I'm going to finish that. This is where I'm at. I'm working on these uh, here. I did end up going and getting that um, uh, scaffolding scaffolding from um, Home Depot, rented it. Uh, it's well worth the money. Anybody's trying to do something like this. Uh, it's a must. You got to have it, uh, unless you got a, a a real good extension, not extension ladder, uh, a ladder with some kind of a platform to it. Uh, you're not going to get this done because that is that's about 17 feet tall uh, in the middle there, and it's just way too high uh, to be doing anything with a with a ladder. But scaffolding's a a must. Anyway, I framed it all up. I'm getting ready to connect it to the top uh, with those little hooks. There's little hooks up there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me see if I can get off. I've run those underneath the uh, C-channel. Um, I don't know if you can see those or not, but I do have some over here that I can give you a look at. Um, this is what it looks like on the... Um, can you see that? It just kind of goes around, and I'm going to hook a, a bolt through it uh, to the wood at the top, and that should hold it steady there. I've got it all leveled up, and um, I do have to fix a board on that side over there. It is not level. i got to fix that. Um, I forgot to uh, count for the width of the... Uh, two by four and so I gotta I gotta fix that over there but anyway I'm gonna attach all this up and I'm gonna call it a day may even hang the door the door uh, is right here and that's gonna go right there in between there and then I have this door which is a kind of cool deal this is a storm door with a uh, it's insulated glass storm door and that I'm going to suspend at the very top and I'm going to have it so it kind of opens out um, the way I can prop it open uh, pull it open I'll have to arrange something with some kind of a pulley system to get that to open and close uh, it's a it's my poor man's louvers <laughs> but anyway uh, I'm going to have that up at the top there and so in the summertime when it gets really hot I'll be able to open that up and get some of that heat out of the top of this greenhouse but that's where I am uh, I'll give you an upgrade date uh, as I go I, I am trying and I'm not I probably should not promise that uh, I'm gonna publish it but I am trying to put together a step-by-step -step thing I'm, I've been videoing much of this as I go along uh, but that's gonna be a lot of work putting together that may come uh, next winter by the time I get it up there, but uh, I'll give you these little updates as we go God bless go plant some dirt 
it's starting to dry out here a little bit in uh, uh, the Tennessee area. Oh, by the way, they just changed our uh, hardiness zone to zone 8 here in Memphis, Tennessee. I just uh, saw that on the news this uh, past weekend. So uh, we're a zone 8 now. And it's been fairly decent last couple days, uh, 50s. Today was in the, the upper... 40s it's been kind of chilly uh, but uh, been 50s and 60s quite a bit here lately so it's helped me out it's just a little windy god bless go plant some dirt and we'll see you next time